ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు బికమ్ ఏ బ్యాక్ అండ్ డెవలపర్ యూ నీడ్ టు లర్న్ వన్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ లాంగ్వేజ్ ప్రాపర్లీ ఐ డోంట్ కేర్ ఇఫ్ యూఆర్ లర్నింగ్ సి ప్లస్ ప్లస్ జావా ఆర్ పైథాన్ ఆర్ ఈవన్ జావా స్క్రిప్ట్ జస్ట్ లర్న్ వన్ బ్యాక్ అండ్ లాంగ్వేజ్ బికాస్ మోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ బ్యాక్ అండ్ లాంగ్వేజ్ విల్ బి సిమిలర్ టు ఈచ్ అదర్ అండ్ యూ విల్ బి ఏబుల్ టు లర్న్ ఎనీ లాంగ్వేజ్ యూ వాంట్ వన్స్ యూ ఆర్ ఫెమిలియర్ విత్ వన్ లాంగ్వేజ్ బికాస్ ఆల్ దోస్ వెరియబుల్స్ లూప్స్ ఫంక్షన్స్ అండ్ క్లాసెస్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్స్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ విల్ బి సేమ్ and concept will not change from one programming language to another programming language syntax might change in c++ you will be writing one code and uh, same code can be written in javascript but it should be written in different way that's what is meant by syntax so either way just learn one backend language if you are already doing bca or if you have taken computer science in uh, puc or something like that you will be able to easily do it because they already teach you that if you are not then immediately go ahead and start learning maybe python or javascript once you you have learned a programming language now it's time for you to learn one back end database so you can take any database i don't care maybe mysql or mongodb or any other database either way once you have learned one database you will be able to work with other databases also so you don't have to worry much about it just learn one database as i said earlier if you are doing computer science degree or course somewhere they'll teach you one database with it so once you have learned it obviously if you are learning it in college itself they'll teach you how to connect one back end language with a database so you'll be writing your c++ code to do some kind of database back end operation so using this kind of back end programming language you'll be able to connect and do some kind of operation usually crud operation where you have to create read update or delete some kind of resource in the database using back end language so once you are familiar with a database now it's time for you to pick some kind of back end tool you may pick php node js python either way pick one language whichever is your favorite and you will be able to create a back end code using it and you can connect it to whatever the database which you have learned maybe mysql maybe postgres or maybe mongodb any kind of database you can connect it if you learned python you will be able to connect it to any of these database if you have learned node js you will be able to connect it to any kind of database so it doesn't matter once you have learned it and you will be able to create some kind of operation to change some data in the database just by using api now it's time for you to step up a little bit uh, do scalable application using uh, some kind of framework in python you can use django or flask and you will be able to create a proper backend api with all the security system and everything in php you will be able to do it using laravel framework and if you are using node js then nest js is amazing option for doing this once you have learned this kind of backend framework now you have learned more advanced concept in back end and you will be able to create uh, more complex apis uh, which will be used in uh, this big tech companies and all so once you are familiar with creating api using uh, this kind of frameworks uh, now you can go little bit more advanced and connect uh, third party apis like uh, some kind of payment gateway system uh, or even some kind of authentication system using google uh, or even some other third party api it doesn't matter so once you have learnt to connect it to some third party application then you can call yourself as a back end developer so that would be it for this video guys i know it's very easy for me to tell all these things uh, but you have time uh, you can just sit there and you can learn it uh, and you will be able to do it so you don't have to overwhelm and take everything today itself uh, learn it step by step uh, like how i mentioned in this video that would be it guys and uh, if you like this video don't forget to hit that like button and see you in the next video bye bye